Good morning. Idaho Adventure Vehicles here. I just wanted to film a quick tour of this eight foot composite camper before we drop it off at the customer. These eight foot campers are just at 600 pounds empty before we start building them out. Super lightweight, don't affect your towing capacity much and gross vehicle rate as much as most other truck bed campers that are made out of wood. Let's get to the exterior first. We have an arctic turn door and four arctic turn windows. Highly insulated. This is a true four season camper. Back door has a mesh metal screen which is awesome if you have dogs or kids they can't fall through the screen. On the exterior has the manual jacks as well as a rhino awning that comes out pretty far um, great for some shade and then we also have the diesel heater here externally with external exhaust completely external so there's no leakage of any exhaust or anything into the cab and the diesel tank up there nice stainless steel tank and yeah, it's all self-contained, just the uh, heat is going inside. Outside here, there's a drain for the shower that I'll show you guys later. All right, let's hop inside. As you notice, there's a shower recessed into the floor. And I'm going to attach some pictures right here in this video to show you how it looks. There also the shower curtain will hook right in there so you can shower inside if desired the cool thing about these showers and i'll get to that this is going to be an inside outside camper which means a lot of the components you can bring outside to do it on the campsite all right let's hop inside v luxury vinyl flooring waterproof we have the cabinets made from marine grade material so there won't be any swelling with water or anything like that. You rarely see these materials used in RVs anymore, but we like to use those. We have some electrical components here. We have the max air fan, high 10 volt outlets, USB outlets with 12 volt outlet. We have the Dometic Go system water system these are so rad because you can take them this is a high strong magnet and you can unplug it and here's the water tanks down here and you can bring this onto the campsite just unhook it bring it outside and you can um, do your dishes outside if desired same thing for a stovetop we have that in here it's a countertop stovetop we put that on the counter or we can bring it outside and the reason being we like to do these is because we have all this big prep area. We find that most of our clients have griddles and stuff like that, so they like to cook outside. Let's come here to the rest of the kitchen. We have a nice big top load fridge. Those 12 volt fridges are so much more efficient than the side load ones. That's why we like to use those. Got nice drawers here, keys. A big closet for hanging some clothes we got the electrical system right down here we got a 2000 watt inverter from Renogy we got a DC DC charger on board we got 300 uh, 200 watts of solar on the roof we have a fuse pin on there where you can see all your circuits and if any fuse goes out, you can replace it very easily and see everything, what's going on. Um, yeah. We also have a couple of unique things in this cab. First of all, this table is really cool. You can move it wherever you want. If you want to sit like this, you can move it like that. Or like this, you can take it off. I like to store it like this for driving purposes. So this is a single sleeper, 25 inches. Um, some extra seating here. 
And as you see, it's a little bit coming out. So what's behind there? Yes, there is a bunk set up hidden behind here. So this is actually gonna be the top bunk and I'm attaching the video right here. There's not a lot of truck campers to have sleeping for multiple children. And this one will have sleeping for two kids, two adults easily. And you ask, what is this over there? We have a baby gate. This customer has a small um, child that is under a year old. So usually we don't have cribs and campers, but this one actually has a crib. The baby gate attaches here and makes this whole bunk a crib. I'll attach a video down below. We also have a diesel heater, so you see the two vents right here. Control panel here, which is so awesome. These diesel heaters are so much more efficient than propane. And I really like them for these four season campers because it gets really hot really fast and it keeps the heat inside. And it also stays fairly cool in summer, which you almost don't need an AC unit unless you're a desert camper. The fan here has temperature control so it will kick on at a certain temperature and turn off at another it also has a rain sensor so it will turn off when it rains it has a rain cap on it as well so it will definitely turn off really cool automatic what else do we have we have a cassette toilet down here a little porta potty as you notice the floor is slightly up so we do have something to make use of this space and let's see if I can do this with one hand. If you remove this toilet, sometimes you have to ask us where can we store like a safe or valuables. There's like a little like, secret drawer here for some valuables, handguns, anything you desire. You can also put a small safe in there in this into this drawer if you want. Let's put this back. And there's lots of more room for gear. Yeah, lots of storage here for more water. We got the three drawers. We got all this closet. And in this closet, we have the shower curtain and two big compartments, as well as the shower. For the shower system, we use a Rinse Kit Pro. They're awesome. They just came up with a low draw heater function. This is why we went with this system because you can actually bring it outside as well. It's a self-contained system. Nothing can really go wrong with it. You can take it outside, shower outside. You can shower inside as well. Um, the inside outside theme with the stove, the sink, the shower, everything can be brought outside and used outside. And it's super efficient. We get away with a not so crazy price on a battery system. You know, we can use an 100 amp hour lithium battery and power anything in the camper. Versus with if uh, you had a real shower system with an electric um, water heater, you would require at least four, 500, 600 amp hours of lithium batteries which can get pretty pricey. They're about $6,000 for that setup. So we get away with uh, just having a 100 amp hour lithium battery, which is plenty of power to power all the normal stuff, laptops, phone chargers, you know, lights, all of that, heaters, thermostats, um, charging some things, the fridge, of course, the fan, all of that. So that's the benefit of it. And it comes at a lot better price point, good materials and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Thanks for checking in, checking out the camper. Oh, and I forgot some lights right here. You can change colors and brightness for nighttime. Check in again. Bye.